Welcome back to Firex Techs. My name is Henry. Yesterday, the Onion team released Onion OS 4.3 beta for the Mio Mini and Mio Mini Plus, bringing drastic support and standalone Pico 8 support, along with some other features. In this video, I will quickly go over some of those features and I will show how to get the update, followed by how to install and set up Drastic and the standalone Pico 8 app. All right, let's get on with it. So the main features in 4.3 I already spoke about, which were Drastic support for the Nintendo DS games. Many people have already manually installed Drastic. However, this version enables Game Switcher. If you are one of the people who have already installed it, the update should migrate your version to the new one. Native Pico 8 support with Splore allows you to browse, download, and play the Pico 8 cartridges directly on the Mio Mini. However, this does require you to own a copy of the Pico 8 software, and that does cost $15 US. I will have a link in the description to their webpage where you can buy it. You can still play Pico 8 games for free using the Fake 8 emulator. However, you won't have access to Splore, and so you will have to go to the website, download the games manually, and add them to the SD card. Then they added and updated the following cores shown here. There are some updates to the Tweaks app, such as the ability to use a blue light filter, a playlist generator to make M3U files for PS1 multi-disc games, support for the new Mio Mini V4 screen resolution, and I'll think I'll stop there. But if you want to see the full list of changes, I will have a link in the description where you can check them out yourself. As a heads up, because this is beta again, I recommend backing up your save folder here from the SD card before updating. Also, if you don't already have a backup of your ROMs, you may want to go ahead and do that. Now, the easiest way to do this update is with the OTA update tool on Onion OS. You will need to be connected to Wi-Fi, then go to Apps, run the OTA update tool here. If you don't see it, you will need to go to the Package Manager, hit R1, find it on the list of apps here, select it, and hit Start twice. Now go ahead and run the update tool, select beta, then it should say 4.3.0 here, and hit the A button to start. The rest is just as simple as following the prompts and selecting yes to all of them until it reboots. Once that is complete, your device is now on version 4.3, and we will move on to setting up Drastic. To install Drastic, you will need to go to the Package Manager from Apps, select Drastic from the list, hit Start twice. You will then need to load the ROMs into the NDS folder in your ROMs folder on the SD card. Once you do that, you should see it in the list for games. And here are some useful hotkeys that you may need to know. R2 changes between which screen is the main screen. L2 toggles the stylus. Holding the function button and hitting up and down on the D-pad changes which screen the stylus is on. Function and hitting left or right on the D-pad changes the view mode. Function and R1 toggles fast forward. To bring up the drastic menus, you either hit function and select or function and start. And then of course, hitting the function button by itself will bring up the game switcher. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to Pico 8. To set up Pico 8, first we'll have to go into Package Manager from Apps, go to the Expert tab, and select Pico 8, Pico 8 Standalone, and not the fake A1. And then hit Start twice. We will then need to go over to the computer and add the files from the Pico 8 application. Like I said before, you will need to own the Pico 8 software to do this. You will need to go to the download page for Pico 8, select Linux, and then select the Raspberry Pi option. Then on your SD card, you will navigate to the RApp folder, then Pico 8, and then we will need to create a folder here named bin, all lowercase. Then from the Pico 8 download, 
we will want to drag over the two files named pico8.dat and pico8.dyn. And we will drag these to the bin folder that we created on the SD card. That is all we have to do here on the computer. We can go back to the Mio Mini. You will launch Pico 8 from the Expert option. If you do not see that here, we will go to Apps, then Tweaks, Appearance, Turn on Show Expert Mode, and then Back Out. Open Expert, then Pico 8, and select the option that says Run Pico 8 with Splore. This will require you to be connected to your Wi-Fi. You can hit left and right to browse the different options here, but you will need to select Update for it to populate the list of games. After that, you can select any one of these games to download and play immediately. You can hit X for the game menu, and you can even go back to Explore from here. If you hold Select and hit R1, you can change the size of the screen. Holding select and hitting left or right on the D-pad changes the bezel or frame. And hitting start will also bring up a menu where you can favorite or go back to explore. Hitting the function button will close the app immediately. When you select any games from explore, it will add them to the Splore folder, and you can launch those directly without having to go through Splore. Also, if you still have Fake 8 installed, you can launch any game that you download with Splore through that. As when you launch them with Fake 8, I do notice that the Game Switcher does work for that. Alright, I think that's about everything I wanted to cover. If you have any questions or run into any issues, please let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like, subscribe for more content from Firex Techs, and as always, thank you for watching.